China. You should only start labeling what isn't made in China. Save a lot of Bitcoin. Hey, you wanna go to the barn? We'll take you to the barn and then you'll run back home. How about that? And then it feels like it's your choice. <laughs> right? What's the pull for? I mean... Does it make us money? <gasps> okay! Not yet! <laughs> <laughs> Hey now, Leroy, put your boots on and your helmet. Here we go. Yahoo. Alright, we're going to dismantle a shelf here that came with the house. The people who lived here before backed this Saturn right about into there uh, and left it. Some free junk tools, um, and then old kind of stuff I took out of the car. Nice wide boards. This will make space for me, uh, and we can utilize the wood. Table saw here. This is from the shop that I grew up with, my father's shop. Uh, six inch joiner, which is cool. But we got the original manual. Still has that new petroleum smell. 1975. Well, where's the drill? Huh? I don't see drill or dinner. <laughs> it should be all number two Phillips for the tip. It might almost be cool if it was something like, and then it was a clean pile of wood right there. Yes. It's beautiful, we got a satellite dish. <laughs> Had to go right there. This is the south side of the Heezy, east to west. And so, this will be our kind of shelf space for germinating our plants. We're gonna try and get a pretty nice garden going to save money and not depend on faulty systems and ideas. <laughs> right? Gourd roof metal. My dad brought this down. It's gonna go up on the barn. We got one layer of shingles. Some nasty heaving shingles back there. Get to work. <laughs> we'll practice on the buzz box. <laughs> Hee haw, baby. Uh, galvanized stinks and it's actually poisonous. You shouldn't really breathe it. This is a box of leftover stuff from an older video. I forget the title of it, but I made it, it was around last Christmas, I think, toy crane. Basically the idea being you scale up the erector set to make it bigger. It's based on something my dad had made for me as a kid. He made me a set with all the wrenches and he color coded everything and we wound up with a base and, and it had bolts and the wrenches and everything. And I had a crane taller than me as a boy, you know, and I'd swivel it and pick up stuff with a magnet. and So that was the idea here. This is some of the cross strapping and what have you from it. Now, that video's out there, the cut list, whatever. You should make your own anyway. Get clever for what you want and need. Now we get two uses. This is also thin gauge. Uh, I don't have any gas, so we're doing the stick welding. So here's what we are left with. Get the glue and the funk off of it.
Some of you might be thinking, you should kill yourself with welds like that. But they hold, you know? I guess lace curtains don't solve everything. I like this, I think three, boom, boom, boom. I've only made two outer brackets and I'm gonna pull, what, don't explain the whole shit, just fucking do it, okay. You know what's really fun is to change the, if any of you guys make videos and put them on, change the titles once in a while because um, you'd be amazed at how people respond. If you do a little self-deprecation off the bat, say like, don't watch this piece of shit video or whatever, or call it a fail, people will swarm and flock to it. And the weird thing is, they'll be nicer in the comments to try and encourage you to keep going. If you say win and look at this great thing I made, they seem to come out of nowhere with swords and verbal axes. It's bizarre. Um, that's why you might notice, you know, or I'll say weird shit like it won't make your hands look like this just because it's fun to watch how people react. Fender washers. I'm nervous. These are all different kinds of screws. I think. Well, if you can handle looking at these, maybe you'll like the ceiling color in the bedroom so I don't have to paint it again. <laughs> I'm breaking in, breaking in, you know, lowering the bar. Oh. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah. If you're fine with these pieces of shit, then I'll be how able to get away with anything. How about we keep the bar high where it needs to be high? Down. Sold. So with this added texture and stuff, the wall's a little wonky. Uh -huh. We could normally put the shim back here, say to bring that up to eat this inevitable discrepancy. Yes. Where I put the shim. Uh -huh. But now, you see the board's cupped. So that's the curl over. We'll put it with the raw wood since it's perforated. And there you have it, right? Yes. The other option typically would go back here and you could hide it. And, oh. Right, and then you could bring it up on an old wonky wall or. Hi, old man. <laughs> this is, none of this is gonna work. So your mind isn't blown, right? But what do you think? I love it. You're happy? Yes. I like it. I think it's yeah. purposeful. Yes. Um, if it brings food or simply just getting shit off the floor to create the appearance of a bigger house. I'm psyched. So, I'm just gonna take the elevator.